When Jason Kelsey said he was leaving the NFL, he got a lot of praise from fans and famous people, and Travis Kelsey girlfriend, Taylor Swift, paid special tribute to him. Although Swift is in Singapore for her sixth show tour, always thinking about her boyfriend Travis Kelsey and his family, it makes Swift sad when Jason says he's leaving the NFL, and it broke her heart to see her boyfriend Travis Kelsey cry when Jason said he was leaving. Someone who knows Swift said that she saw Jason Kelsey's press conference where he announced his retirement. She was sorry for his choice, and Swift also told Jason how grateful she was to be his girlfriend. Guys, be thankful for everything in your life. If you have to choose, put what you're thankful for and the people you're thankful for people first. Swift also remembered that she and Travis Kelsey had fun celebrating wins with Jason and Kylie Kelsey at past Chiefs games. At the press conference where he announced his retirement, he also used lyrics from some Taylor Swift songs as inspiration. I see my career coming full circle in the city of brotherly love, it's so poetic. Relationships are different, I know. The athlete used a line from Taylor Swift's song All Too Well to talk about his younger brother Kansas City Chiefs player Travis Kels. In the announcement, Jason mentioned the second song by saying, If you rise above this city, you will be rewarded beyond your wildest dreams. She may be talking about Taylor Swift's song Wildest Dreams in his speech. The 36-year-old sobbed as he talked about playing football as a child and how hard it was for him to become a professional athlete. In front of the crowd, he thanked his parents, Donna and Ed Kelsey, his brother Travis, and his wife Kylie Kelsey, who tried not to cry. His friendship with the star tight end gave him a fighting chance. Since we were kids, my brother and I have been together. We played, fought, laughed, cried, and learned from each other and not much else. We came up with the game because we thought we were the best players at the time. Every day we imagined ourselves making plays that would win, before we left, we thought we had won a lot of Super Bowls. Whenever we're not playing, we're watching someone else play. Really appreciate it, Philadelphia. In the end, he said that it is a real honor. I appreciate how nice you all are to me and my family. Whatever comes next, I'm excited for the new challenges and lessons that lie ahead. For Travis Kelsey was also at the press conference where his brother announced that he was retiring from the NFL, that's the main reason he couldn't go to Singapore to support his girlfriend. Travis, on the other hand, wore a friendship bracelet with heart and initials of Taylor Swift on it. He was still thinking about her, but quick-witted Twitter users pointed out that Travis seemed to be keeping his love close by wearing a bracelet that said TNT during the emotional event. There were two more bracelets on the Kansas City Chiefs star. Some of the lines that seem to start with Travis Kelsey say that it's not clear where Travis got his bracelets or if he made them himself, since that's how he met Swift in the first place. Some Swift fans may have also given him personalized jewelry while he was in Sydney last month for one of the concerts on the Cruel Summer Singer Eras tour. A lot of friendship bracelets were seen on the three-time Super Bowl winner's wrist after he traded dozens with fans. Jason Kell said he was retiring from the NFL on Monday in an emotional press conference. He will now have more time to go to games with Taylor Swift, his brother's girlfriend. The Shake It Off Singer has become close to Travis Kelsey and his family, including his older brother, since she started dating him. Travis and Jason met for the first time at a divisional round game between the Chiefs and the Buffalo Bills. When Travis caught a key touchdown pass, everyone was very excited. To celebrate, Jason jumped out of the VIP sweep and into the stands without his shirt on. Travis said on the podcast Their New Heights that he asked his award-winning girlfriend what she thought about this important event. Three-time Super Bowl winner told his brother, Tay said she loved you so much. Jason also talked about a conversation he had with his wife Kylie before starting his crazy celebration. He compared it to a funny scene from the comedy film Old School Do. I said, I'm removing my shirt and launching from that suite. I don't care, she told him, Jason, don't you dare, the famous player laughed. It's what I do. I already knew she was telling me to behave well because we were going to meet Taylor. When she told me to be good, I told her, when I met you, I was so drunk I passed out that's part of Jason Kelsey appeal. I want to look my best at first. Before Travis joked that the first impression is like the worst impression ever, he said, this is my best chance Jason was cheering for Travis in the NFL playoffs. Travis and the Kelsey family were with Jason after rumors mounted for months. He said he was giving up football. 
After 13 years in the NFL, including winning the Super Bowl in February 2018, he has as ended his playing career. Kelsey's most recent game was in the wild card round of the playoffs against the Tampa Bay Buccaneers. At his official retirement press conference, Kelsey said, it was a great blessing to play in the most passionate sports town in America he said this while fighting back tears. Our group has been driven to take risks, fix problems, and work hard to win by the need to win right away. When you're an athlete, you hate it sometimes but after a while you learn to value it. Philadelphia loves its own people more than any other city. It's really amazing how different the people in an NFL locker room are in terms of where they live, their race, their personality, their body type, and their athletic skills. We all count on each other and value the differences between us because we know that we're stronger together. The brotherhood is something I will always treasure. When Jason Kels finished his very emotional retirement speech on Monday, he hugged every member of his family and then walked through the crowd of reporters, shaking their hands and giving them hugs, it's possible that Kelsey did it out of gratitude he thanked as many people as he could think of while crying for almost 40 minutes. But it made sense from a job point of view, too. At the end of the day, journalists soon, the 36-year-old former star center for the Philadelphia Eagles worked with Kelsey. For the past two seasons, he and his brother Travis built their podcast, New Heights. They talk about emails from fans, go over different segments, and break down the games for the week. The show's popularity grew quickly over the past year, making it one of the most listened to podcasts on both Apple and Spotify. The fact that Travis is now dating Taylor Swift is partly to blame. Travis felt safe enough at New Heights to talk about Swift on his own terms, and Swift would listen every week. Though Swift wasn't the main character. Also, both Kelsey brothers are great at finding funny ways to talk about football. New Heights shows how Jason and Travis can make each other interesting and fun to watch, but what really makes the show fun is hearing two supportive brothers talk about their very public jobs. It will be interesting to see if Jason is still as interesting on New Heights after he retires. Like Travis did this year when he talked about Swift, Jason was able to talk about important events that happened in Eagles games. In good news for New Heights as a show, Travis is still working for the defending Super Bowl champion Kansas City Chiefs and hasn't shown any signs of wanting to retire this summer. While Jason builds his podcasting persona after retirement, the podcast should be able to keep its fastball and brothers talking about the NFL from a position of authority as long as he stays on the field.